What is going on, Retro Yuki fam? I hope you guys had a very good week so far. It is Thursday, no, um, January 12th. I almost said November 2023. And we have a brand new website update or end or website um evaluation, if you will. So, so far, if you guys have not seen the website, it's www.retroyukirp.com. And this is where you guys can go get information about our upcoming role plays for VR chat as we get ready for Emerald Hunters and four more series coming up in 2023, potentially five. But we're not going to be talking about specifically about this particular template, although I do want to give you guys a little preview of some stuff that is coming up if we continue this template. So. What do you mean by template? So you may have been wondering what is this template thing I've been talking about for the last 24 hours. So basically, for those of you who are not aware, this is actually made in HTML, but it's going to be a programming language for website development. But here's the catch. This is actually from a template. But why, why, why do you say that? Well, because Behind the scenes, I'm coding it behind the scenes, right? And there's this template I found on W3Schools, which is actually a website where you can learn, well, web development. So I decided to use one of their templates to try to get started on the website for the role play. And this is what you get. This is one of the templates, well, yeah, one of the templates you get to get these views. One of them had this particular idea for this particular thing here where you can display images like this one you see for the Thanksgiving episode and you can press left or right to display another image on the website itself. So here we have the Thanksgiving episode and you get to learn about this new episode that just came out in November. Hopefully we can do another one soon. Where you get to watch this episode on the video page. Which the video page, corresponding video page, is going to be this one. The Roleplay Adventures. So technically speaking, this is supposed to be reverse. So Thanksgiving up here, Beach Adventure down here. So that's what you're going to get when you normally would click on this, but I did not put that in yet. So... That's one thing that's going to have. That's one template idea. Here's another thing that came with the template and normally. This used to be this particular area where you see the schedule for VR chat actually used to be a template for buying tickets. Now, normally you don't buy tickets to, to watch my stream. So I took that away and gave you the schedule for VR chat live. This so happens that tonight we're playing VR chat and I'm playing as Roots the Bat because that's how we do the chat. No, no rhyme pun intended. But I get to show you guys, oh, January 12, 2023, I'm going to be playing as Roots the Bat in VR chat tonight at 5.30 because it's January 12. Then January 17 will be our next one. Because it's Tuesday, January 17. Then the next one after that will be Thursday, January 19. Then the next one after that is Thursday, I mean, Tuesday, January 24, Thursday, January 27, I mean, 26, and so on and so forth, Tuesday and Thursday. But I'm only going to show you the next four VR chat live so that you don't get overwhelmed with the scheduling process. It's always 5.30 unless I say anything else, unless there's a special. The gaming aspect here, which is new, but I might change it, is where you get to watch me play the regular live streams for video games. So if it's on a Tuesday or Thursday, then the gaming part is at 8.45. If it's on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it's at 5 and 8.45. Okay, so this is just a little sample of what it looks like. Okay, but I'm not going to be talking more about the gaming side. We're talking about more of the role play. So let's go into what the actual meat and potatoes is 
for the website and today I want to teach you guys a little bit of the blog roll. This is in testing mode so you're not going to be able to get to more to see more of this stuff because this is just a test of the blog roll. What is a blog roll? A blog roll is a blog site that keeps going. Okay, so there's no other page. A blog roll is a single page for the entire blog. Could be Emerald Hunters, could be Francis the Hedgehog, could be uh, Mobius Heroes, could be another roleplay series, so on and so forth. So you may have noticed I have a test blog roll. I, I will tell you that none of these things indicated in the blog roll. This is just for testing purposes only. So you see I have a tag on the first one where it says January 12, 2023 or 22. Now I know the date sounds weird, but that's just because it's a testing only and not really the real thing yet. You may have noticed there's a tag called Emerald Hunters. So this particular blog post is talking about our series, The Emerald Hunters. And then I put a headline after that on the bottom there. I will tell you now that headline is false, number one, because the date. Number two, I never talked about um, my character getting an injury at any time. Not even close. So this is a for sure a test blog okay but I just want to point that out there just to give you guys a blog roll same thing with the second entry that doesn't make sense either not only the date but I never talked about my character fainting either so that's also a test blog too number three I talked about this but it's not in a roleplay adventure so that's also a test blog too so all of these are testing only just for the sake of, oh, I want to show you guys the blog, how it's going to look like if we use this template. And I say, if we use this template, because I would like to show you guys two other templates that I'm thinking of using officially for the site. I will I'll keep, before we go into the templates, though, keep in mind that the content displayed on the, com of the templates are for testing purpose purposes only and are only used to promote the template based on the site I got it from and that is from Advanto. So shout outs to Advanto for the templates by the way because I'm about to show you guys what they look like but before we do that I'm going to show you guys the, the easy template then we're going to go to the dynamic template. So the easy template is called game devs and here's how it looks like. So this is the, the game devs template. Ignore the pictures again. Because those are just for the promotion of the template itself. But the idea of this template is to keep it simple. You may have noticed that the pictures are changing. This is called a photo slideshow. Slideshow. In terms of HTML. And it's fade, fade in, fade out. So that's a thing you can do in HTML. But I'm not going to talk about the coding behind it. I'm just going to talk about what is the content. So as you can see, it's a slideshow. And the slideshow transitions every 10 seconds or 15 seconds. And you're going to notice that the text that is going to display on the left side is going to change once the picture changes. Now. I believe it takes a little bit for the picture to change. But once it does, the image, the text on the left side will change. And my idea here for this template, if we use it, and you guys get to vote, by the way, is for the episodes that I'm going to promote, to promote the episodes here as well. Okay. So this is the photo slideshow element. That is the home page by the way. So about game devs is basically about our site. Here's where it gets really fun. Featured games is going to become, if you use this template, featured episodes for the role play. It could be Emerald Hunters, it could be Obvious Heroes, it could be 
Francis the Hedgehog, it could be Francis the Wolf, it could be the un Unannounced series, it could be anything. Role play wise, okay? No gaming. Same thing here for this particular picture. And then on the right, you may have noticed there's blog notes. The blog notes are going to be like our little blog area. What what particular notes, particular blogs have been released? And you may have noticed this is a Twitter Twitter um, post. This is actually a real account. This thing right here, Jao Alberto, is actually a real account. So. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to, I'm not going to be positive if we're going to use this as a Twitter, Twitter shout out. I'm going to think about it, but I might put something in there. I might put something else in there that makes it more about the role play rather than Twitter. Okay, because the main goal is not the Twitter, it's the role play, not the Twitter, but I might use something related to the role play on Twitter. But that's not my goal. My goal is the role play. Okay. And the content that we're about to provide. The second page is called the games page. The games page is like, let's say we want to promote an episode and we have a gallery, a mini gallery here. We have mini gallery downstairs here. And we can put the pictures of the characters that are in the in that particular episode and then you can watch it on a video page or blog page or whatever what have you okay same thing here we can do this for the episode two or for thanksgiving and a new episode to go on the top of the page of the top or above the fold if you are are programming the and um, if you do programming above the fold, above, above the fold. Here is the blog page for the template. Here is where it gets fun. This is what you call the blog roll. If you watch, if you saw the regular, the original website hours, this is a blog roll in retrospect. And if we go to the to the role play blogs. This is actually also a blog role in a way. So this is a blog role in its own right. There is a problem though. There is a little bit of a difference between the two. And the difference is this one is not responsive yet. What I mean by responsive, if you shrink the window down to a different size, especially for those of you on mobile devices, if you try to type in the exact website um, and go to this page, the sidebar on the left is not going to close correctly. Actually, it might not close. Therefore, it's considered non-mobile responsive, which I may or may or may change it, make it mobile responsive. But this new template actually has it built in. This one is actually not built in. This sidebar is not built in. I added this for testing purposes, just for a, a concept. But the one we're about to show you is responsive if you shrink the window size to the size of a phone, like in terms of like how it's going to look like. So if we change this right now, we try to shrink it, you're going to notice that the words on the page are going to shrink if we do this, you see how now obviously on my OBS video it's not going to look right. But this is how you're going to be able to view it on a phone. It's actually going to be pretty pretty interesting to look at. More interesting to look at. The only difference with this one is there is no sidebar. You have to go all the way to a different area if you guys want to use this um sidebar. The one that I have on the site is a sidebar that I made. But it is more responsive, this one. That's for the blog. The about page is like um, the about page. Okay. So 
whoever is in the team, most likely. Let's say we have a script writer. We do have a script writer. Let's say we have a video video producer. That's me. By the way, I go by my username when it comes to this stuff. So don't expect me to use my actual name for the about us. Uh uh. The only time you're gonna see my actual name is when I'm referring to my character. Sorry, you're not gonna hear my own character's name while I'm doing the videos on YouTube. Sorry. Unless I do well, you know, my other characters. But still, there is gonna be the about page. At least for this template. Contact the contact page is basically email me like that and actually there is something I want to do with the fun zone if we do this particular template and that is for the reaction videos I do with my character Francis the Hedgehog but more on that later that is the contact page all styles you don't you will get this page as a part of the template but this is how it's going to look like when you do certain elements in HTML like an accordion so if I click on this accordion is going to open and then if I need to do like an FAQ page that I can use the accordion accordingly okay no pun intended here's the badges and labels the badges and labels are like the tags I use the website so you see how I use friendly banter and friendly that's what it is that's what those are the badges and label Buttons are for like the buttons in the website where you click a button and you do something. Text is the regular text. Bold text is going to look like this. Call out. It is a call out. You can always have a link to the call out. Block grids. If you're into like organizing this things, this is called a block a block grid. Page indentation is where you can select a new page if you have pages of information. Tabs is exactly what it sounds like, vertical and horizontal. So if you click on a tab, you can learn about certain things, certain objects, certain role plays like that. Click on click on this, get to learn about that particular thing. Forms, basically a sign up form and all that or that jazz so that's how it looks like for this particular template okay you guys get to vote on this if you guys like it i would like now to show you guys a dynamic template that might come in handy for a few things i want to explain what these are because i have some patreon idea but more on that in a moment the next template is called PlayRex. And PlayRex is based on gaming, but there is a blog and there is going to be video. I can do video on this page, on this um, template. Too. But here's where it gets interesting. Here is the PlayRex template, which is designed for gaming and videos. And I say gaming and videos, because actually this is more of a gaming type template and let me show you around first off this is more dynamic but wait a second didn't we see, uh didn't we already see a video like a photo photo um like uh photo presentation in the slideshow and the answer is yes we have because it was also on the other template however there's actually more to this than you think. This is a template for a video gaming video gaming. But you may have noticed something else. There's actually games within VR chat. If you guys remember, back in 2022, last year, if we take a look at the specials, when I tried doing the VR chat specials for you guys. One of the games that you can play in VR chat just happens to be a Call of Duty like game. If we take a look at that, if you guys remember, I played with Francis the Wolf and Kyle. 
So if we take a look at that, both School Battle Royale, I believe it's called School Battle Royale, if I remember correctly. Yep, that is one of the games we played during when Kyle was first, Stone KC was first introduced into VR chat. And you may be wondering, what does this have to do with roleplay? And kind of almost something, and I'll explain why in a moment. So we're going to try new things this year in VR chat live. One of them could be a gaming thingy where you can earn Yuki coin. And here's where it gets in, here's where it gets fun. So I'm going to use the Luna versus KC and this one is an example. So pay attention to the score. Ignore who wins for the most part, it's more of the scoring. So, if you count this as a tournament, which it's not, it's just for fun, but let's just say it is, I'm going to post this score on this template. The biggest hits to come out in Pac-Man might be returning, might be coming, becoming Full Battle Royale, and then we're going to have me versus AC, where I'm going to be playing as Francis the Hedgehog. Versus Kyle the Wolf. Kyle the Wolf. Okay, you might be wondering, how does this tie in into the role play though? This is just for fun. This is bonus content. Is basically what I'm trying to say here. We get bonus content based on that particular aspect of VR chat. So we might have role play and gaming and VR chat gaming at the same time. If you guys like this idea of just for fun, just for fun gaming in VR chat, here's the catch. There's a little bit of a catch. Um, my points do not count. Any points I do, do, I do score do not count. It's more of my opponent. And the reason why is there might be a little Yuki coin involved. I'm not going to talk about that today. But that is one of the things that we could do if we use this template. Um, featured game. This might be something else. Um, this might be featured character or something. And then you can select the next game or like the next character and all that cool stuff. Here is welcome to player Rex. I might change that to something else. Counters. These are counters. So we might do, um, let's say, the counter for role plays five or character seventeen. Um, worlds explored five hundred, and then episodes to come five thousand. I'm just making these up. I'm just showing you guys what these are. But that's a template idea. Beat the team players. So this is where the cast and crew portion comes into play. Now you may be wondering, what about these icons? Because they're, they technically are team. Well, there are a few aspects of this we can, for example, Rising Rabbit Star could become like a, um, because you have four players here, because this is a team of an eSport, because this is basically an eSport um, template. So we can say, instead of Rabbit Star, we can call this Emerald Hunter, because that's the name of our series. And the team, team players are the casting of said roleplay adventure. So for Rabbit Star, instead of Rabbit Star, it's going to be called Emerald Hunters, and the cast and crew include myself as the, not only as Francis the Hedgehog and Francis the Wolf, I'm also the video producer. Here would be my username, my character, my my um what I do for the series, video producer and role player. And then I can put my, like, let's say, the characters I play as. Francis the Wolf, Francis the Hedgehog. 
I appear, assuming that I'm going to stick with those two. Then the next one on my right would be Spooky Twig, for example. And then what's her, what's her role? Well, right now, thumbnail artist. Artist. Something in that area. And then, let's say she has a Facebook or something. Contact her. I'm not going to put her Facebook, though. I'm not going to do that. Just for the sake of... I'm just showing you guys a template right now. And then below that, we have our other actors, our VAs. Hey, Lone KC, Kyle the Wolf, or another character. Dion, another character. Um, There's another one I'm missing, for sure. But there's plenty. Emerald Hunters is our main one. But then we have Roleplay Adventures. This right here, Santa Paws. No, no pun intended to Christmas. But this is going to be Roleplay Adventures, for example. The casting crew for Roleplay Adventures is almost the same. Except it's less players. It's less, less people. But still, same concept. Retro Yuki is going to put... Um, the big, the big text is Retro Yuki. The little text is Video Producer. And then the characters that play as in Roleplay Adventures. Right now is Francis the Wolf. Spooky Twig is going to be in the, the big text. The little text is going to be um, thumbnail artist. And then under that, the character she plays as. And so on and so forth. Same thing for this one and this one and this one. Whatever you want to call it. And then this. Now this, ignore the pricing plans. I'm not going to charge you over $80. No, that's just a template. However, this is going to give me an idea though. Supporting on Patreon. What do I mean by that? Or YouTube membership. What do I mean by that? Well, if you do not know, I am planning to return to the Patreon. And you can support the website and the other content I do. Right? It's the VR chat stuff on the website, on Patreon, or YouTube membership. What I'm going to put here, however, is the tiers of support that you can do. For example, the Yuki Elite is $1 per month. I can put in the, the things you're going to get, the benefits. For example, your name in the credit. Your name in the credit sequence of the VR chat highlights, which are coming back, by the way. Those are coming back. I just have to figure out when I want to do them. Just so happens that um, Saturday, I am not going to be at home for the streaming because I'm going to be at my aunt's house for, my, for her birthday. So I'm going to take advantage of that and put two highlight videos out for this week. The one on Tuesday and the one for tonight's um, Rouge. So that's going to be your name is going to be in there if you're a Patreon supporter member or support on YouTube on Facebook via subscription. So that's a tier. And then let's say for another dollar, same same tier, I can put your name on the website as a supporter. Same thing, same kind of concept. Okay. And if I have a higher tiers, then I'm going to add them to the to this um layout for the user. Now tournament schedule. This is only if we're gonna do the whole Kyle versus Francis in VR chat. But that's only if we're gonna do that. This is not for the role play aspect. This is for the this is for the gaming portion inside of Rope and VR Chat. So let's say if we have, uh, if once I get Francis the Hedgehog, let's say Francis the Hedgehog versus Kyle the Wolf, and we're gonna be doing School Battle Royale. Then I'm gonna use this section, of the template. Okay, let's say another game could, uh, Freya the Wolf versus. Um, Volts the Hedgehog. I don't. I don't know. 
I'm just throwing them out there. Just for the sake of purpose of example. Let's say this match is happening February 9, 2023. I know it looks interesting. Because it looks like an uh, actual thing. But it's not. It's just a template. You can click on the, the different dates on that week. Show you guys when our next game will be. Now keep in mind that um, there have been times where we played the school battle royale inside of VR chat during our open lobbies. That might be a thing. Or pop up events. So we'll see what I'm going to be doing. Thing. The other thing I can do with this is instead if we do not like the idea of the whole Francis versus Kyle thing or Francis versus Volts thing or the whole school battle royale thing, if you not like that, I can turn this into a schedule for gaming if I know how to do this correctly. What I mean by that, instead of showing games for full battle royale, I can do this gaming schedule thing where you get to see me play some games. Okay? That, that could be a thing. So this is the most dynamic one I've shown you. This related news is the blog. And that's just the homepage, folks. So here's how the blog looks like if we use the template. Here's the blog. Keep in mind that I'm going to do different blog for different series. Now as you can see here, we have one, we have one, two, three, four, five different sidebar or different asides of HTML. These five different sidebars can be used for different things in a blog. Okay. So one of the things I'm going to try to use here is let's say you want to get from let's say you want to get from the blog to a different section of the same blog. Let's say I'm doing multiple things on that page on that particular post. Let's say I do a, I want to show you guys a video. I want to show you guys an image. I want to show you guys um, the character, something. You can click on these, go to that particular section. And then instead of recent comments, I can show you guys different news about Emerald Hunters, about roleplay adventures. So that you can go directly to that blog without going outside of the website. Or maybe some other thing here in categories. Okay. And then we can do a this particular post as a slideshow image. So like that. Instagram photo. I am thinking about it. For a website for role play, I am not going to do it right away. However, I'm not. I don't want to start doing an Instagram for role play adventure. Doesn't work. I'm, I just want to show you guys what could we here. So here we could do photo of character. Let's say retro as Francis the Wolf, or Spooky Twig as oh no, excuse me, yeah, Spooky Twig as the Clover. Or something in that matter. Something fun that we can do that Instagram photo area if we do not use Instagram or roleplay. And it says meta here. I'm not sure what to put here yet for the template, but this is just an idea that is around. And then you notice that there's a uh, SoundCloud, which reminds me. That I might be playing piano for you guys soon. I'm not going to explain what. But that is an idea. If we go into blog details. You can see that this is a blog page. Blogging about a particular 
um, topic. Okay, and you see the same sidebar. Okay, but the sidebar idea for the different sections is only for when I post um link in the blog. Right? There is plenty of to do here, basically. And there's more. There's actually one more um thing I want to show you. We take a look at team. Teams. You can see that there's different um team different uh, animation. Again, we could do the, we could do this for Emerald Hunters, Roleplay Adventures, and more. So that's how it goes. Okay, so for this particular template now. I want to remind you guys both templates if you want me if you want me to get it are different both templates are under $20 that's the good news the bad news is only bad news I see one of them is more dynamic and one of them is more simple that's the only difference between the two this one is more dynamic because you have the whole animation material and you have an you have a gaming aspect this one than the other one because this also has three other styles and like like light and dark mode also enabled so this is a different style of the same home page that you saw the difference is with this one you do not get to at least the pricing table okay don't get to see that at least for this particular style so only one of the styles actually has a pricing template which I want to use for patreon supporter but that does not mean that this page this template isn't good this is actually a great template it's just that are we going to be able to use for more than just role play and VR chat. That's more of let's see where this goes. Whereas this one is more simple. It's more it's not dynamic, but it's simple in the in the case of here's a blog, here's some news, some videos, and you're done. Whereas this one you really have to look into it because unless we're going to be doing the whole the whole battle royale school battle royale material and if that is going to be a thing now on the channel when are we going to feature it how are we going to feature it and all that stuff and is everybody going to agree with us doing this whole full battle royale material just because of a template I found out about. Okay. So keep that in mind. Okay. So we'll see. Vote on the community tab about what you saw. I'm very interested to see. Which template are you interested in? Or if you are very interested in, keep the current template. I just have to add certain things. If you like. Okay. But that's only like uh, if you want it, you can vote for it. If you don't want it, you don't vote for it. I still want to see what you guys think of the current. Okay. That is it for this website slash template first look idea. Remember to vote for your favorite template. If you vote for one of the two I just talked about, then we are changing the template. If you vote for keeping the template, then we are not changing the template, but I do need to make it responsive. 
that's the kick. That's the that that's the kicker. Okay. We'll see you guys at 5:30 for VR chat with Root the Bat. Enjoy, and I cannot wait to see you guys vote for. Have fun.